Good morning. It's a 19 mile day. Uh, beautiful day. Bright purple sky. It's warm. It's like 78 degrees. Two days ago I was freezing. Now it's hot. <laughs> Just somewhere in between would be nice. Like 68. But come along with me. This, this is probably the last day I'll see Mount Lassen to the left. So this is nice. This is the North Fork of the Feather River. Very nice bridge. Remember the steel bridge just out of uh, about mile marker 12, 20? Very pretty. That was the South Fork of the Feather River. This is the North Fork. And going north this way. Just a pretty little meadow here. Don't see any deer out in it. But... And there are blissfully no mosquitoes. More beauty. So almost there. So I've heard that the uh, terminal geyser is, is interesting, but I'm not uh, gonna go down there. <laughs> Pretty pooped. So we're gonna head up to the Warner Valley campground. Last hill to climb for the day before going into Drake's bed. It's just a sea of mule's ears. Pretty. So almost to the Warner Valley campground. Very nice. Oh yeah. Lots of water. So I just came back from Drake's Bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's an interesting place. As far as I can see, there's no grocery store. Don't think they're gonna resupply anything there. Um, they put the hikers in a table way off to the side, um, <laughs> away from the guests. Didn't we play this in Muir Trail Ranch? I think we did. Um, so I had a beer, that was good. You know, I've gotta stop this thing where I try to continue civilized life on a trail. Doesn't work. You know, I mean, I had all the food I need in my campsite, which is coming up here. Uh, so, I don't know. <laughs> so here I am at the Warner Valley Campground. It's a nice place. Uh, fire rings, you know, picnic table, Bear box, Porta uh, or just privy. So gonna head on up uh, to through Lassen Park today, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Gosh, it's like stone sunny and like 65 degrees. Perfect. Well, you climb out of the Drake's Bad campground really fast. Way down there is the uh, Drake's Bad pool. It's pretty nice. It's a beautiful day here. And up that trail. I've been alive with uh, beautiful butterflies for like the past week. And once taken to my knee brace. There's no flower there, sweetie. You're very beautiful. I found that the simplest things on, the, on this trail are the prettiest. You see other little butterflies flying around. There was a bear back up the trail, up that way. Um, he could care less, just banging around the woods. <laughs> Cute. Adorable. And one has taken a liking to my backpack. So nice. Some of the most thoughtful people put this nice little walkway across this swamp. And it is a swamp too, boy. Yes, I bet trying to just put all this stuff in was just a major job. So still making my way up to Old Station. There's a road about four miles away from the post office I'm going to get off on. But it's a pretty flat trail, easy. 
there was a little bit of a water crossing there at the King's Creek, but uh, very simple. So this is Swan Lake coming up on three lakes. This is the first one. There's more of Swan Lake. Very, very nice. Big. So this is Lower Third Lake coming up here. We're going to have lunch there. So my wife went back here to Summit Lake, going to go back that way. Had a very nice lunch here on the log. And actually no, no bugs. <laughs> so nice. All right, so I'm going this way to um, about 12 more miles. Just, just some more prettiness of Lower Third Lake. I guess they call this the devastation area because there was an old burn. I don't know when, but a long time ago. It looks pretty devastated. Still in the devastation forest. It must have been a lot of oh, devastation. I'm thinking the year was 1997, but I could be wrong when this fire was. A little bit of cloud. Hey, ain't that nice? I can just imagine next month this would be a really hot place to walk. Well, I think I'm coming to the end of the desolation. Devastation. <laughs> Not there yet, but you can see a few green trees starting to... that lived. And a few more trees. And a pretty little trail. Thank you, PCT trail crew. Wow. That's a lot of logs. Pretty cool plant. I've never seen this before. Very pretty flowers and you look up the hill, there's some up there too. Well, this is a border, Horse Corral, and this is the border of the Lawson Volcanic National Park. Twin Lakes was 7.4 where I had lunch. A few more miles to go this way. So three more miles to go. It's very peaceful. Light wind, a little bit of clouds. Beautiful. It's about 4.45. So that was good. 19 miles. Feeling better. Less tired. I feel like I could walk another 3 or 4 past this. I mean, this trail is just perfect. It's just perfect. I wouldn't change a thing. Walking on soft pine straw. Little pine cones. Little butterflies. Yes, it's very cute. <laughs> it's, it's like a little wonderland. How did I ever get so lucky to be able to do this? I just think it's pretty. So coming up on uh, my road here, and uh, that was 19 miles. Feeling strong. <laughs> you know, it's a bear to get trail legs, but you got to do it because the trail is too long to just do 10 miles per per day. So it's really nice to see you actually do get trail legs. <laughs> so tomorrow I'll take off from about here and head up to uh, Hat Creek Lookout, and that's what the short day. I found getting trail legs, it works better to do kind of long days and then short days and long days and short days. Just kind of push yourself and then heal. <laughs> so. Well, good morning. So today we're back at that road <laughs> that I got off on yesterday and headed up to Hat Creek Rim Lookout. So sometimes it's only a 10 mile hike and sometimes you do sections to set up for longer carries like the Hat Creek Rim is a longer carry. So short day like three and a half hours. So this is the turnoff for the Hat Creek Post Office. Old Town or Old Station and, and Hat Creek are kind of the same thing it seems like. Going up that way I can kind of see a trailer. So it looks like the PPT goes up this way so we'll go there. Some pretty little flowers. Not much to report. <laughs> it's just uh, kind of hot and dry. 
You can kind of hear the, the 89 freeway off to the left in the distance. So it kind of parallels it the whole way. Just doing rattlesnake watch usually. <laughs> Just watch out for rattlesnakes. I've only seen those two rattlesnakes um, way back there. Both in the, like, you know, within an hour. And none since. Guess we're coming up on Highway 44. Coming there, good work. I see the PCT sign. And there you go. Getting there, up to the lookout. The lookout is up in there. So a little bit of a climb before them. Pretty nice trail. No snakes. There's a little bit better view. I think the trail, or the just look out somewhere up there. Yeah, I don't know what these are, but the trail is lined with them on both sides. And it smells like a perfume factory. <laughs> it's nice. And last looks at Mount Lassen. Almost to the parking for the lookout. So I'm coming up to the Hat Creek Lookout. Wow, that is quite the view. Mount Lassen. That's the volcanic highway up down down there. So this is the just Hat Creek Rim. So I'll be going along that for the next two days. Headed north. <laughs> okay, that's it for for the day. Bye-bye.